Внимание, говорит Москва. Передаем важное правительственное сообщение. Граждане и гражданки Советского Союза. Сегодня в 4 часа утра. Без всякого объявления войны германские вооруженные силы атаковали границы Советского Союза. Началась Великая Отечественная война советского народа против немецко-фашистских захватчиков. Наше дело правое. Враг будет разбит. Победа будет за нами. It was these words that the citizens of the USA heard, and the citizens of Kazakhstan, who at the time were part of the USA in the status of a Union Republic. From that day on, every fifth citizen of Kazakhstan went to the front. In general, there are for about 1,200,000 people who joined the right army, warriors of Kazakhstan participated in all battles, but especially distinguished in September. 1941 in the Moscow battle, 316 and 312 infantry division under the command of Panfilov and Naum. Incredible courage was shown by Marshal Tokhtarov, Vikhrev and Gabdulin. Various of Kazakhstan actively participated in the partisan war. About 220 Kazakhstan's force on the territory of the Leningrad region. More than 270 on the Smolensk land, about 3,000 in Ukraine and Belarus. In total, hundreds of thousands of soldiers from Kazakhstan, including 96,638 Kazakhs, were awarded military orders and medals of the USA for the heroism displayed on the fronts World War II. 497 people, in way, including 98 Kazakhs, were awarded the title of Hero of the Soviet Union. President Truman announced the official surrender. This is a solemn but glorious hour. I wish that Franklin D. Roosevelt had lived to see this day. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. For this victory, we join in offering our thanks to the providence which has guided and sustained us through the dark days of adversity and into light. Much remains to be done. The victory won in the West must now be won in the East. The whole world must be cleansed of the evil from which half the world has been freed. United, the peace-loving nations have demonstrated in the West that their arms are stronger by far than the might of dictators or the tyranny of military cliques that once called us soft and weak. The power of our peoples to defend themselves against all enemies will be proved in the Pacific War as it was proved in Europe.